Hey guys, this is Shabir Majid here. What I want to talk in this Voice Tech Insights podcast is the state of voice technology, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, artificial intelligence, and how it is shaping all our industries. In this episode, uh, we're going to look at what happened at Computer Electronics Show CES 2018, uh, mainly looking at comparison between Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Uh, in 2017 CES, Amazon Alexa was a big hit, uh, while uh, in 2018 we have seen Google really emerge uh, and is really giving huge competition to Amazon, Amazon's Alexa digital assistants. CES 2018 had more than its fair share of wacky items and compelling gadgets. But one of the biggest trends to emerge once again from the popular tech show was voice enabled devices. Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa dominated the tech on display, finding their way into new and exciting applications. More than 5 billion consumer devices supporting digital assistants will be in use in 2018, with almost 3 billion more added by 2021. This is according to research by IHS market. Until now, it seemed like Google was playing catch up with Amazon, uh, which is really what happened in 2017. It took nearly a year for Google to come out with an echo like competitor. It Google also has Google Home, uh, which is similar to Amazon Echo. And just as long as uh, for it, uh, what it did was in order to Im- increase the competition it partnered with third parties and pushed them to integrate Google Assistant into their devices. Uh, Google also made a multi-million dollar investment in terms of marketing at the CES 2018. This includes uh, painting of the Las Vegas monorail with Hey Google and also there were billboards around which actually advertised Google Assistant. Let us look at where Google and Amazon uh, are taking their approach to this digital assistant market. What CES showed us is that Google and Amazon kind of entirely are on the same page when it comes to voice assistants. Uh, It is not about keeping these assistants in their own native devices such as Amazon Echo and Google Home. In fact, they are taking their digital voice assistants to a number of devices and put in in every device they can find. This includes speakers, displays, cars, or any kind of innovating devices. Where is Google really putting its assistant? Well, Google has have been doing is they have been really partnering with their manufacturing network and leveraging their partnership with companies and manufacturers through its Android operating system. So this is really helping Google because they already have existing third party partnerships or companies who are already using Android. And what Google is doing is really leveraging that. Uh, Now, in terms of where Google is really putting this uh, is into a number of displays such as JBL LinkView. Uh, There is Lenovo Smart Displays, there's LG Wireless Speakers. Uh, These were all, uh, these are some of the devices which were announced as part of 2018 uh, plans of these companies. Google, which is no stranger to partnering with third party manufacturers that use its Android operating system, uh, already find a place uh, to use Google Assistant. Google is also pushing through its Android Auto its own digital assistant inside, uh, which is already working in Honda, Hyundai, and other car brands, this inclu- including General Motors. Uh, now let us look at where is Amazon really taking Alexa? Of course, Amazon has its own uh, Echo series of products, but at the same time, it has partnered with a number of companies, have announced plans with new partners, including anchors, smart home speakers, there's iDevices, light switches, there is voice alerts systems for homes as well as one link, uh, smoke detectors 
and these are some of the devices where actually amazon has partnered with a lot of companies and they have announced their integrations at this ces also uh, there are some very interesting devices such as uh, visix blade uh, augmented reality glasses ar glasses as well as the jabra earbuds earphones have already announced and uh, integrated amazon alexa in their devices also uh, laptop manufacturing companies such as acer and asus have announced integration of amazon alexa in their notebooks uh, toyota bmw and uh, some of the car companies have already integrated amazon alexa into their 18 car models as well as uh, they have announced new car models uh, in 2019 which will support uh, amazon alexa uh, also ford is really integrating amazon alexa in their cars the, so the really question comes is who was really the winner at uh, 2018 now a lot of people have different views but i think is amazon and google are competing very hard but google has slightly an edge over amazon uh, this mainly i think because google already has existing partnerships due to its already existing android operating system and google is really working hard to leverage that uh, legacy assets which it has so companies who are already using android in their devices or in cars uh, google is very smartly enabling their digital assistant through use of its android operating system so I think really Google really worked in 2017 and it then really came up with these very interesting partnerships and integration which has really uh, makes me think that it is now an even uh, competition between Amazon and Google. So last year voice stood out as a novelty in uh, many corners of the sh uh, show floor of CES 2017. This year voice represented in every corner of the floor uh, and it found it everywhere in lot of different voice enabled devices including televisions cars smart displays earbuds uh, robots glasses ceiling fans table lamps speakers so i think guys i think we are already into an era of voice enabled devices and i think the ces which showed us that a lot of different manufacturers or companies are really adopting voice technology including digital assistants into their existing products so we have a very exciting time ahead where we are not going to push buttons or you know slide screens we'll be actually just giving voice enable commands to a lot of uh, home based devices office based devices and a lot of different so guys thanks for tuning in please subscribe to this podcast uh, if you have not really done that and thanks for listening in